This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee on The Breakfast Club. Well, Meek Mill perhaps might be trying to set things up for him and Drake to do something together. Now he teased a snippet of a Biggie remix for What's Beef on Instagram, and here is what one of the lines is. That's five million, twenty, sit up and count on this. Pay the five hundred thousand, turn it around in the sticks. If we be feeling rapping, I might just pop a wet pussy like what's free. Yeah, I think the song is done already. Oh, him and Drake? Mm hmm. Where is it? Um, no, I mean, it's, that was Drake's ad libs on it. That was Drake's ad libs on it? They the said it was Drake's ad libs coming on next after Meek. That's what they said. Well, mm. I think, well, I think maybe. What I said was maybe a full song. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Well, Who speaking, knows? Speaking of Meek Mill, uh, Pusha T has a song on his new album. You know what? Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> All right. Now let's discuss Lil Baby. He was up here on The Breakfast <laughs> Why Club. You're, looking at me like- You're a jerk. And he's a, a pretty new artist, you know, and he just recently put out his Harder Than Ever project. And guess what? That is projected to sell 80000 in the first week. Drop one of the clues bombs for Lil Baby. That's how I know he's faithful to his girl. Wow. Cause you remember when he came up here and he was saying that he, you know, ain't, these hoes ain't talking about nothing. Mm-hmm. He's a faithful man. When you're faithful, good things happen to you. Absolutely, like that. Yeah, the album's uh, pretty good too. So here's what he said when he was on the Breakfast Club. First, when you came up here, it didn't seem like you were so gung ho on being an artist. It was kind of something that happened because of who you were around. But now, since then, you've been putting out a whole lot of music. So it's kind of like you fell in love with it. Mm-hmm. When I came, I really wasn't. First time I came, I was rapping, but I really wasn't feeling myself. But now you're 100 in. I ain't 100, but last time I probably <laughs> last time I probably was like 5%. Mm-hmm. But now I'm probably like 60%. I haven't been rapping for a year. When did you say, okay, I'm really for real and in, more into it now? Literally day by day. Putting a lot of pressure uh, on other artists that are on QC. Because Yachty popping, Migos popping, mm-hmm. Lil Baby popping. If you sitting on QC and you ain't popping, it's probably you. That's crazy. Probably like, you. you know how other artists feel? They've been working for years and years. He's been doing this for a year. I mean, he's been grinding, though. he's not though. even, like, that into it. He's been working hard, though. Baby, working hard. No, it's just, imagine as an artist, though, you've been working for 10 years, and it just hasn't happened for you yet, and then little baby comes along. He's been, been working year. in them streets he's like, for I'm a long not, time. But, but he himself said that he's not that into it. He's 60% in. So that's maybe amazing. His, maybe his prayer is set up different. That's maybe amazing. Maybe God just don't love you the way he loved little baby. Oh, stop it. <laughs> so imagine you're an artist that's, a hundred percent in, a hundred and ten percent, and you're like, damn. All right, Will Smith has been tapped. He's gonna do the official FIFA World Cup 2018. That song. That sounded crazy. Yeah, that did sound crazy. Will Smith has been, been tapped. tapped. Yeah. I didn't know what you was gonna follow. They're that tapping up with. him to do that song. Okay. So he put up a photo with himself and Nicki Jam, and he put the caption, "One life to live, live it up." Mm-hmm. Hashtag World Cup. He also tagged um, Diplo, and I don't know who Streefy is. I gotta look that up. But yeah, so I guess maybe that's all the people that's going to be involved with making this song. All right. All right, Rich the Kid. His estranged wife has a lot of things to say, and she's been going on about him for quite some time now. Uh, Her name is Antoinette Willis, and she has just filed new documents in their divorce. She says that he got violent with her so many times it was common for police to be called to the house. On one occasion, she said she followed him to a hotel where he was meeting a woman. And when he came home the next day, they got into a fight. That's when she claims that he grabbed her, hit her, and things escalated when Rich, the kid's family, came over. They have two kids together, a two-year-old and a one-year-old. And she said that he forced her to have at least three abortions because he didn't want any more kids. And she said she has no income. She's been forced to move in with her family. Meanwhile, Rich, the kid, has moved in with his new girlfriend, who is Tori Bricks. I thought Tori Bricks was with Young M.A. But I guess, uh, according to his estranged wife, that's who... He's with now. She's also asking for spousal support and child support. Tori Brooks probably a uh, stir fry sexual. What's that mean? Pansexual. Oh. She probably like a little bit of everything. Mm. I'm not saying that. I just thought she was in a relationship oh, already. Not I don't know. About her sexuality, but I thought you were already in a relationship. Maybe she moved on, man. I maybe, guess so. Maybe I didn't over. know they broke up. Can you, can Young and Me still afford Tori Brooks right now? What's that supposed afford. to mean? <laughs> I'm saying. Damn. Tori, I'm sure Tori costs right now. What about love? Oh, please. My God. Goodness. All right. Well, I'm Angela Yee, and that is your rumor report. Hey, 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 hey. The Breakfast Club. Every weekday morning. Tune in.